Hello everyone. So this is the casting of cubes with mix design for M15 grade concrete of standard size concrete specimens. So these are the casted cubes of standard size 150 by 150 mm of three standard cubes we have been casted for 15 grade and this is the after 24 hours. So this is the stage after drying of the concrete specimens after 24 hours and next these are the three cubes after 24 hours you can see here it is hardened and set so these are the three cubes so in this uh, for the caster we have used OPC 53 grade cement and this is the accelerated curing tank in which already half of the tank is filled with the water which is heated up to 78 degrees okay for that we need to keep the standard specimens of sizes 150 into 150 into the accelerated curing tank so after curing we are going to do for 28 days uh, compressed strength we are going to determine that is going to be described in the part 2 how to calculate the compressed strength with the help of compressive load by the area again we are filling the water which is already filled with water at 78 degrees celsius again we need to with the help of tap water we again we are filling the at up to top layer surface of the accelerated curing tank So you can see here the temperature present temperature is 78.7 so next we need to keep these specimens in the accelerated curing tank for about three and a half hours so after pouring the water at the top of the surface so at 100 degrees celsius we are going to cure the cubes so it will it, it will require three hours to reach at 100 degrees celsius after pouring the water at the top surface layer so we need to remove the care this top plate so now it has been reached 100 degrees celsius after three hours so you can see it so now it is nearer about 90.5 So you can see 99, it means approximately equal to 100. So this is the 100 degree Celsius, you can observe here 99.5, that is approximately equal to 100 degree Celsius. After reaching 100 degree Celsius, we need to keep the, the so after that reaching 100 degree Celsius, we need to remove the top door in order to keep the standard cubes for accelerated curing seconds we need to remove the top top plate slowly so now the water temperature is 100 degrees celsius so with the help of plunger we need to keep the specimens one by one into the accelerated curing tank so you can see here slowly we need to we need to hold the specimens with the help of three plunger cubes and in hot water at about 100 degrees the Celsius during tanks. Three cubes. So now we have placed two cubes and third cube. Similarly, third cube we need to place into the accelerated curing tank. We need to keep about three and a half hours. So you can see here accelerated curing. So this is the curing of specimens in accelerated curing tank at 100 degrees Celsius. So after three and a half hours of accelerated curing, we are going to test the cubes for compressive strength. We need to go into cube, place the cubes in compressive testing machine. And we are going to calculate the load, compressive load by knowing the area of the standard cubes 150 into 150 
we are going to calculate the compressive strength of the cube. We are removing the standard cubes after three and a half hours accelerated curing from the accelerated curing tank after three and a half hours. Slowly we need to remove. one by one and next we need to immerse in cold water in normal water slowly we need to remove the three cubes from the accelerated curing tank after three hours we need to demold these cubes with the help of screws and third cube also we are remaining from the accelerated curing tank. So after demolding, we need to keep these molds in normal water for one hour. So you can see here, so in normal water, one, two, three cubes have been placed in normal water for one hour. After that, we need to go for testing compressive testing of these standard cubes in the compressive testing machine for cube one you can see here the load is has been applied gradually in the dial gauge you are going to see the load taken so you can see here for first cube the load is taken you have to press the on the button and the load is going to apply on the cubes. So you can see here, slowly the dial gauge is moving towards. So now it is nearer to 200 kN. So again it is moving forward. So the, you can see here the cracks are going to observe. So now you can see in between 400, 600, 500. Uh, apart uh, after that one digit is there 510 kilonewton so the load taken by the first cube is Sorry. 510 kilonewton cube similarly sec similarly for second cube the load taken is 540 in between 400 and 600 that is 500 so in between there is four digits 540 kilonewton similarly we need to keep third cube third cube we need to keep again Again, the third cube, the load that is going to be taken, gradually increasing the dial gauge at about, so you can say the crack patterns, slowly the cube is going to be crushed, so you can see here the cracks are developing at the edge of these cubes, and we should note down the ultimate load. So you can see exact 500 kilonewton. So for third cube, the exact load that is taken by the third cube is 500 kilo newton. For OPC 53 grade cement, we have been used in these cubes. And also we have used admixture in these cement concrete cubes. For M15 mix, the cement that is taken 3.85 and water 2.26, sand 12.96, coarse aggregate 20 mm 10.796, of size 12.5 that is 1.95 and admixture 0 0.045 grams. So these are the ingredients we have been used for OPC 53 grade cement. Hello everyone. So after testing the three cubes for compressive strength, 
the for first cube the load that is taken after applying the compressive load 510 kilonewton we have been used opc 53 grade cement similarly second cube 540 kilonewton third cube 500 kilonewton so the average it will be 516.66 kilonewton so the first cube the average compressive strength will be 516.66 kilonewton k so we need to convert into newton multiply by 1000 so that is 1 kilonewton equals to 1000 newton so we need to keep in terms of mm mm one si unit so divided by size of the cubes that is length into breadth that is 150 mm into 150 mm so we got the average compressive strength for first cube it will be 22.96 newton per mm square so there is a formula to calculate the compressive strength for accelerated curing of the specimens there is rg equals to 1.64 into average compressive strength of for first cube plus 8.09 Similarly, 1.64 into average compressive strength already we have calculated for first cube by the average plus 8.09. So we got the accelerated curing compressive strength is 45.74 newton per mm square. So here for M15 grade con uh, concrete, we got the strength for target strength as 15 newton per mm square. So due to the addition of admixtures into this. and by the usage of opc 53 grade cement so we got the accelerated curing compressive strength that is 45.74 newton per mm square as compared to the target strength for m15 grade 15 newton per mm square so this is the second phase in which we have explained the calculation part of the compressive strength of the three cubes so in the first phase already we have explained this uh, procedure of that we have kept for curing accelerated curing of that we have te tested for compressive strength of loads we have calculated the by the formula average com compressive strength formula and we have calculated the formula and we have got tallied with the 15 grade and 15 newton per mm square so due to the addition of admixtures we got 45.75 more than the 15 15 grade of opc 53 grade cement used